Look, today is Thursday, July 14th. It's after the close, and we wanted to cover some of the action in GameStop. It was a, an incredible session for them today. You can see the stock opened around 140, ripped all the way up to 150, and then faded to actually close down on the day, um, despite that huge move at the open. And this was the first time in quite some time that we've seen big options action really ignite what we'd call a gamma squeeze, something we've not seen a pure big gamma squeeze in some time. So we wanted to cover some of that data here. First, which you can see, and we want to look at the existing options position. So the gamma squeeze is about having existing options positions. As the stock moves up, dealers have to keep buying more and more stocks. So that's based on existing positions. So if you look at this here, what you're going to see are two lines on your chart. There is a orange line, which is put gamma, and blue line, which is call gamma. And the more vertical these lines are, the more volatility potential there is in a name. This is a this area from 120 all the way up to 150, 160 is a slippery slope, right? A lot of movement in there as dealers have to uh, buy the stock and sell the stock depending on the direction. Now, what you'll also notice is there's this blue bar that pops up right there. And that tells us that the biggest call gamma line is at 150 for GameStop. So that was a big, important level to start the day. A lot of calls there, and you can see there's some other big call positions in and amongst this existing area, basically from 130 again up to 150. So the, the tracks were laid, the positions were set to start the day. And then what happened, you can see as per our hero indicator, this purple line shows us that big options, positive deltas came in. So positive delta trades are from call buying and or put selling. And when you get positive delta trades, that tells us that as those trades hit the market, uh, that means that dealers have to start buying stock. And the fact that this green dot is all the way to the right tells us that this was the biggest positive delta day for GameStop in, in the last 30 days. And if we flip this little indicator here, you can see that this orange line is what's shooting higher. Orange line is, is the uh, deltas driven by calls only. So what you can see is right here when the stock's around 144, all of a sudden these call buyers ignite, right? And they just leap forward and the stock shoots up into 150. Uh, and at that point, the call deltas turn negative, right? And that tells us that traders start to sell off some of those calls. You get a second pump back up. And then after that, it's like, okay, the stock is exhausted. That call flow stops. As you can see, it trades sideways and then down. And then the stock fades uh, rather violently. Recall there were big positions there. We believe those 150 calls are likely long, uh, particularly ones that expire Friday. The stock rips up that level. Traders close off. Uh, or sell those calls and the stock reverts rather sharply. So if we look at the actual volume that took place uh, in GameStop, this is in Thinkorswim, you can see that the open interest again shows us there's big call positions for this Friday. Uh, decent sized call positions, as I say, not huge, but the volume, particularly the 150 strike, uh, was rather large, uh, coupled with the 144, 145, and 140. So a lot of call volume in today. Uh, those are deltas that come in. Those deltas play into that gamma, uh, and then you get that big old gamma squeeze. So uh, this was great to watch today. Great action. Uh, we think that yeah, there's some uh, a tailwind, uh, positive vibes, right, for uh, GameStop as the stock splits. Uh, we think it's bullish, uh, not just in the short term as, as traders likely want to get in front of the split, but also that lower GameStop price will probably draw uh, more activity in, particularly away from names like uh, AMC. We wrote about that uh, in an article a couple of months ago. We'll put a link to that article in the description. Uh, if you're interested in trying out any of these tools, be it the Equity Hub uh, or uh, the Hero, which provides the real-time information, you can simply go to subscribe now uh, and get a free seven-day trial. If you have any questions on this, please put them in the comments section below.